this woman Luz, she just never stops believing that somewhere, somehow, her daughter Della Marvera is still alive. Okay, fast forward now to 2003. We are six years on and this, honestly, Julia, is just where things start to get strange. In the most unusual of settings, a children's birthday party. So picture the scene, you've got your usual snotty kids running around, you know, the triangle cheese sandwiches with the cross cut off being flung everywhere. It is chaos. <laughs> yeah. Like that, yeah, 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 a bit of that, a bit of clown, <laughs> clown theme. So this is a family do, mm-hmm. and Luz is there. And another woman who's there is Pedro's distant relative, Carolyn. She's there with her kids, including her daughter, Aaliyah. Okay, that this is worth me sort of like slowing down to describe this moment for you. It, it does all sound a little bit woo-woo from what I've read about this moment, but stick with me. Oh, is this so. an intuition thing? Mm-hmm. Go mm-hmm. on. Science, science spidey sense is like, no, no, no. <laughs> so, Error. Lu- <laughs> Luz spots this dark-haired little girl from across the room. She describes feeling like she just goes cold. I can imagine, like, just that feeling of, like, when the whole world around you just sort of stops spinning for a second, you know, and life just slows down. This child, Aaliyah, looks the absolute spit of Luz when she was a child. And it is the dimples, Julia. This is what Luz says as soon as she sees this child smile and the dimples flash up in her cheek, she recognises those dimples as her own. She says that this is just one of those unmissable family traits. Hmm. Okay, so... Are you still sceptical? Because well, I'm going to hold you to this. <laughs> so, let's recap. We can, cause, yeah, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. So, Luz thinks that Aaliyah yeah. is her dead daughter, Delamar who died six years earlier in the house fire, and notably, whose remains were in the yellow bag brought out by the firefighters, Mm -hmm. and she thinks this because of some dimples. So how does she act next? What does she do? Well, she doesn't shake the feeling. You know, back at the kids' party, she's having this split-second realisation, and Luz feels like she needs to act. She's going to need proof, right? And... Yeah, a lot of proof. And this savvy, resourceful woman, helpfully, is a fan of crime cop shows. Uh, and podcasts? Question mark? I think she would be if they existed. I don't okay. think they were a thing at the turn of like the millennium back no, in 2003. Fair, fair. But I do think she would be a woman after our own heart. Definitely think she would be a number one bad people fan. So... Because Luz watches all these cop shows, she knows exactly what to do in this moment. So she goes up to Aaliyah and says, oh, honey, you know, you've got some gum stuck in your hair. And using this excuse, she quickly pulls out a few strands of this child's hair and shoves them into a Ziploc bag. Okay, so she's stealing her DNA, basically. It's not exactly the kid's party souvenir you normally leave with, right? It's probably just normally a bit of a bad migraine and a child high on E numbers. But... She does. She escapes with this hair. And, you know, I'm just wondering what on earth do you do next with some stolen DNA? I mean, presumably we're building up to a DNA test, but go on. (laughs) Oh, come on. Plot twist spoiler there. (laughs) But the thing is, Luz is, is not well off, right? Like, and these things are not just easy to kind of like access a DNA test. She can't afford a DNA test. Plus, she doesn't speak much English. So she has to think next what she's going to do with this hair sample. And... I think this woman's resourcefulness just continues. So she goes to see her local state representative. He's a fellow Puerto Rican. And I just cannot imagine what this must have been like as she sat in his office and starts telling him the story. I mean, presumably he'd be very sceptical. Just you wait, my lovely sceptical. Is it just me who's a sceptical? My lovely sceptical friend. (laughs) So the state representative, he's, you know, he's not convinced either, but he does say to her, look, listen, I'll see if I can pull a few strings, you know, see if I can get, you know, maybe the cops to just hear you out a bit or... But they had this yellow bag, right? So that was brought out and do they reinvestigate that? What do they do with this bag? How how is this going to work? Well, I think that is, uh, you know, a huge detail of the evidence. You have remembered there, Detective Shaw. Very good. And pretty key but evidence in yes, this case. It's just, yeah, pretty huge detail. Well, in that case, you are not going to believe this either then because it turns out that when the contents of the yellow bag are examined, 
All it contains is melted bedding and mattress from the cot. There's no human remains in that bag at all. Mm -hmm. 